The aim of the following experiment is to determine the phagocytic activity of antigen-specific antibodies in clinical samples at high throughput. This is achieved by first coating fluorescent beads with an antigen of choice to allow capture of the antigen-specific fraction of antibody present in complex clinical antibody samples. As a second step, phagocytic THP1 cells are incubated with the opsonized fluorescent beads, which then phagocytose the beads as driven by the number and FC domain characteristics of the antibodies bound. Next, the fluorescence intensity of the THP1 cells is determined by high-throughput plate-based flow cytometry in order to quantify the phagocytic activity of the antibodies present in the sample. Ultimately, the ability of antigen-specific antibodies in the sample to induce phagocytosis based on differential uptake of the opsonized fluorescent beads due to either variable antibody titer or variable recognition by the antibody receptors expressed on the phagocytic cells can be evaluated. The main advantages of this technique over existing methods, such as those using primary phagocytic cells, is that throughput is increased and standardization is improved. This method can help answer key questions about the basic immunology of the adaptive immune response, such as whether different vaccine regimens induce antibodies with different activities. The implications of this technique extend toward therapy of infectious disease because antibodies make a major contribution to mounting an effective protective immune response. Though we have used this method to provide insight into the activity of antibodies in progressive HIV infection and vaccination, it can also be applied to other disease states such as influenza, autoimmunity, and dengue where phagocytic antibodies can exacerbate disease rather than provide protection.